Welcome in to the 3 and 2 Titans Today channel here at Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson breaking down the Titans 21 17 victory over the Commanders. It was a fun game back and forth. Carson Wentz was Carson Wentz at the end. A very costly interception to this guy. Former six round pick David Long Jr., the hero in this game, coming up with a game clinching interception. Props to him. You gotta love a anytime a player makes a game ceiling winning whatever interception at the end, but especially when it's from someone who's not necessarily a usual suspect, right? Not a fired or a top player on their team by any means, but for David Long, a linebacker making a play on the football, love to see that for him. Finish the day with 11 tackles after the game was over. Someone came up to him and was like, you better not let go of that football. And he said, don't worry about it. I'm sleeping with it tonight, probably. So let's show the guy some love. Let's type his jersey number, 51, down in the comments section below to congratulate him on making the best play of his career so far, helping this Titans team string some victories together and get them at the top of the AFC South, sealing up a 3-2 and two record after some rough losses against the Bills and against the Giants, but here the Titans are, year in and year out, refusing to quit. Even when people want to doubt them and say the Titans are done or the Titans are frauds, whatever, Titans putting up a big, impressive road win. At least in my book, I don't care who you're playing. In the NFL, if you can win a game on the road, it feels like nearly two wins because one, you're just winning, and that's fun, and two, you're stealing a game on the road. So, Shout out to David Long, but let's get to some other stats and takeaways I've got from this game, which was a game that the Commanders, I don't think they blew it or pissed it away, but they definitely played some good football for a team that's lost four straight row, uh, four straight games, and now they're looking up a long hill battle. But Derrick Henry, let's start right here with the King. 28 carries, over 100 yards, two goal line touchdowns. There is no other running back in the NFL who just, it feels almost so effortless, effortless that he just gets, yep, another casual 100, two touchdown performance day for Henry. It's almost like that's like a average day for him, which is a awesome day for 99% of other running backs out there. Ryan Tannehill was Ryan Tannehill. He didn't blow the game. He didn't throw a very costly interception or anything like that. He was somewhat pedestrian, 15 for 25, 181 yards, linked up uh, with a one-yard touchdown, with one touchdown on the day. So for Tannehill, I think you just got to like to see him start to maybe get back into a flow with things. Doesn't necessarily help that he doesn't have Traylon Burks out there. Not that Burks has been a huge go-to weapon for them early on. They're still trying to get some continuity at this wide receiver position. And we'll talk about Westbrook in a little bit here because Westbrook and Keene had a great game in this one. Had some big plays to help really stretch the field for Tennessee. But first, we are almost at 5,000 subscribers. So everyone watching right now, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I know YouTube analytics tell me that there are 211 of you Titans fans out there that have not hit that big red button. So go ahead and do so. If you're looking for a Titans news and rumors YouTube channel all year long, this is the channel for you. All right, like I said, big play Nick. A little play off from, uh, well, you know, for Nick Foles. All right, Nick Westbrook Akeen, he had two grabs for 72 yards, one of them being a 61-yard reception. He is just kind of being probably the more undervalued player, I think, on this team. It doesn't have a star receiver necessarily. Robert Woods is coming back, and he's play, He's made some good plays here and there. Traylon Burks is on IR. So Westbrook and Keene stepping up and making some big plays for this Titans offense, which they need from the wide receiver position because they're still trying to even make a stab at replacing A.J. Brown. All right, we're going to get to some other stats and some other takeaways, so don't go anywhere. First, I got to tell you guys about BetUS, though. So that's today's sportsbook partner that's got a 125% deposit bonus. When you go to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code chat125, you're going to get a 125% deposit bonus. So if you did not bet on the Titans minus one or a pick them today, which I had in my parlay, the Jags screwed my parlay today though. I really thought they'd take care of business against the Texans. Anywho, 
Make your picks, make your parlays over at BetUS and be a better winner than I am. Thanks, Jacksonville. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. All right, we talked about the offense. Let's show some love to the defense a little bit more here. Jeffrey Simmons with a team that is, I wouldn't say looking for a pass rush, but trying to make their way through a handful of injuries following Harold Landry injury earlier this season. Simmons is the number one disruptor on the interior of this defensive line. One and a half sacks for him, five tackles, three QB hits, and a pass breakup to go along with it. Danico Autry gave everyone a bit of a scare today. He exited the game for a little bit. He did return later in the second half, and that was great to see for Tennessee because they need all the help they can get on defense. Handful of players like Cunningham and Hooker dealing with injuries, so they need all the help they can get. They can't afford to be missing more bodies out there. Four tackles, a sack, and one tackle for loss for Danico. All right, before we let you guys go, I think it's a fun thing to remind you that the Tennessee Titans are the number one team in the AFC South. They are 3-2. and two. That's ahead of the lucky 2-2-1 two, two and one Indianapolis Colts who had no business winning that Thursday night clunker against Denver. Jacksonville is 2-3 and three after losing to Damian Pierce and the Texans today who picked up their first win of the season. And they're now 1-3-1. One, one. So if your team, which I think this team is, uh, these people watching are all Titans fans, if your team is first in the AFC South, Give me a me down in the comments section below right now. Enjoy being at the top of the mountain right now because this AFC South, the Colts might start getting into a rhythm as Matt Ryan gets more games under his belt. We've seen these Colts teams get off to slow starts at times as they get more of a carousel at quarterback, but down the stretch, they can be a tough out. But for now, Titans are number one in the AFC South. So if your team is number one in the AFC South, which it better be because you're watching today's video, drop a me down in the comment section. All right, final thoughts before we sign off and let you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Kind of want to mention this. How about Brian Robinson? That was great to see, right? He made his debut today after getting shot in the leg back in August 28th. It's October 9th, and he went off for nine carries, 22 yards. Maybe not the best statistical day, but a pretty good story in recovery. He led the Washington Commanders in receive, uh, excuse me, in rushing yards. Diami Brown, a third-round pick out of UNC. He got the Titans number at times. He had two big plays, two big receptions, two grabs, 105 yards. But I feel like if you just let up two big plays instead of getting burnt over and over and over again, that feels like a letter of the lesser of two evils, if you will. All right, we're going to sign off for producer Nick Roloff, Matthew Peterson here from Chat Sports. Appreciate all of you guys for tuning in, making us a part of your Sunday. We'll see you all later with more Titans news and rumors.